Yes, I'm Mr. Brown, D.J. Armour Foundation. This video is about a, a experiment that we did with uh, white carbon here. This carbon is a material that's used as a, a coating for canvas or textiles or materials that you can use in brakes or clutches. This is a white nanocarbon. This is a little unlike carbon graphenes that are that are um, black. They're usually carbon six. This is not carbon six. This, this carbon, this carbon graphene can stand withstand extreme temperatures. So we put this penny underneath this an this anvil and coated it with a thin coating of this this carbon, white carbon, just to see what it would, would withstand. So. At that temperature, we have uh, 300, about 300 degrees on top, and when we remove the carbon shield from it, which is very thin, it's only about 10 thousandths, you could, the coating would normally be about 5 thousandths. So it would be similar to a primer coating. You could probably put it on canvas or, you know, or, or a car or anything like that. The unusual thing is that the penny didn't flux or fuse. It didn't melt. So <clears throat> we're trying to, to coat it so it doesn't transfer heat. The object is to make, you know, clutch clutches and brake material out of it and different materials that, that will stand extreme heat. And there's the penny. And it's it's warm. But still handleable and it didn't melt so good enough all right now let's go ahead and burn it ready okay so we're going to burn it again here and we're going to find out just how long it takes it to 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 melt into a flux or into a liquid and there you have it. It's it, it fused, so it's now malleable. So without that coating, now that coating is made specifically to address some of the issues, like those firemen that were that were uh, 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 that died in in Arizona. So we use that for a coating for their fire bags or fire tents. So visit armortherm.net.